Hello, you're welcome to um, this series of econometric software application. And uh, in this series, we'll be talking about how to download and install R as well as R Studio. Now, the two are the two are probably the same, but it's it's very important to understand the difference between R and R Studio. So R is the is a very versatile statistical software that is used in uh, statistical computation, data mining, um, graphical illustrations, and it's it's widely used across several disciplines. However, R Studio provides an environment, a user-friendly environment, where R can be used more effectively. And as you can see, R Studio integrates a whole lot of um, tools that are found in R and brings all these tools, the, all this um, uh, framework into a particular room called the studio. In that case, in that way, you could manage your workspace. You could, you have robust tools to plot your your graphs and stuff like that. So that's why R users are more keen on using R Studio to operate or to assess R. So now, having said that, we're going to go to the steps in inst installing and downloading R Studio. So the first thing you want to do is to go to this website. You can see this website on the description box of this video. When you go to this website, you copy the link and then you put it on any web browser. It brings you here straight. Uh, the, the good thing about her, it's, it's open source. So you have the free version. Of course, you have the other versions you could pay for, which uh, probably are used for big commercial organizations or you know big servers. But for normal desktop, um, it's open source and it gives you everything you want. So it, it has the good thing about about her. All right. So having said that, we have you could see there are two steps to to install her. The first one is to install her itself. That's the software, the program itself. And then the second one is to install the room, the R Studio. So and you have to do the first before the second. So let's download her. When you come here. Uh, if you come here, you see you can download her that's for different operating systems for Linux, for Macs, and for Windows. So I'm going to click for Windows, and then since I'm installing her for the first time, I'm going to click on install her for the first time. Now, the current version of her that is available as at this time that I am installing this is her 4.01. Her from time to time keeps updating. Uh, the, the the version of the of the software, so you may be surprised when you when you go to this uh, website again, you may find something of a higher version. It's it, it just, it's the same thing, you know. I mean, they keep updating it, so it's basically going to be different from R 4.01 in in a few months time. So I click on this. I save this. And then I go back to where I came from. You know, this was the original uh, original website where we went to. And then you, you so there are two applications you're going to download. You download the HAR itself, and then you also download the HAR Studio. So the HAR Studio you have for different operating systems, as you can see, Windows, Max, Ubuntu. But since I'm using Windows, I will just download for Windows and it goes, does, yes, so this is it, R Studio now. So remember two things very important. First one, download HAR, I mean, install, you download HAR and install it before you install the HAR Studio. So you have to install the HAR before you install the HAR Studio because without the R, the HAR Studio is not going to work. The R Studio is just like an empty shell without the R. So you only access the R through the R Studio. And suffice it to say that you could also do your statistical computation even without the R Studio, just using ordinary R. And we are going to see that uh, how it operates. Although, like I said, um, what is highly favored among statisticians and econometricians is to assess R through the R Studio because of its versatility and its robustness. Okay, so my software's 
uh, my applications uh, I've downloaded. So the first thing is to install HAR. So this is HAR, not the HAR Studio, but HAR. Okay, yes. English, you could change the language here depending on what language you are comfortable with, but let me go with English. And then next. So R automatically, you know, tells you where to save the program. In my case, it's in the C drive and it's already there. So you could just use the default, except you are interested in changing it. But normally it's good to just use the default. And then yes, you leave everything, um, you leave everything checked, except if your computer is 32, 32 bytes, of, then you, you, you can un uninstall it. But since I'm having 64 bytes, it's okay, I'll just leave this. So we normally recommend that you use the, you accept the default setting, except if you have some other customized startup you want to use, then you could click on, but I think the default setting is generally acceptable. And then, okay, it says next. All right, I, I, I like creating a, a shortcut, a desktop. It's not compulsory because, um, and the reason it's not compulsory is because eventually you won't be using this R, this particular R for your statistical analysis. I mean, you won't be opening this R. You'll be opening this R through the R Studio. So you don't really need it on the desktop. So I'm just putting it on the desktop to show you the difference between the R Studio and just the ordinary R. So we go on next and there it goes, it's installing. You give it some time and okay, yeah, almost there. Good. All right, so finished. So you could see, so this is the hair here. You could see them. This is the hair. This is the, the the one for the, because I installed two, if you remember, the 32 bytes as well as the 64 bytes. So I could have just, but I just wanted to have the two. It doesn't make any difference. So I could, without R Studio, I could start doing my statistical analysis by just opening this. But you will find out by the time I install the R Studio that the R Studio is more user friendly than just the um, the hair by itself. So the next thing now we go to the hair Studio, which is this. You know we've downloaded it, so we we install it too. Okay, so one the, you install it by just double clicking it, and, and that's it. You yes, um, and it says welcome to our Studio setup. Next. And like it takes it again to the C drive. Um, so next, uh, you don't want to just install. You don't want to create all these shortcuts. You know everything is already there in R. So just just install, and that's fine. So it's it's gonna take a little bit, a little while. Um, Okay, it's getting faster. Almost there. Okay, um, so it's downloaded and installed successfully. So what I need to do now is to I need to find out where is it on this computer? Because definitely it's not on the desktop. So one thing you could do, if you just go here, type R Studio, and this is it. So I go to, I just say, uh, I, I open the file location, and I say, this is it. So I just bring it out to my desktop so that I have it on my desktop anytime I want to use it. And this is Hair Studio. So this is Hair Studio and this is just the normal Hair. So what this Hair Studio does, it's, it has, you open it, it has a lot of 
apparatus, a lot of facilities through which you can call Hara Studio and through which you can apply Hara Studio to do a lot of things all in one room, all in one setting. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it, just double click this and let's see how it looks like. Okay, so you see. Uh, all right, so fine. So let, let's let me cancel these because this works out done. All right, so this is how it looks like the R Studio. Now I'm going to control before I say what before I take you through some of the um, the apartments and the partitions in the R Studio. Let me just show you what a typical Harrow looks like without. So this is it. So you see, so this is R itself without just and you can you can work on you can you can do a lot of you can do all your statistical stuff anything you can do on anything you can do on her studio anything you can do on her studio here yeah? you could also do it on her the only thing is that you have to now be calling whatever you are doing one after the other however on her studio you could have all your work tools and your workshops all in one just in a single place and then you don't need to be going back and front uh, for example if i come to let's just say i want to do a simple kind of addition let's say uh, two uh, plus three on how is equal to plus you press enter it gives you five so you see it's uh it just brings but so let's go back to our studio so this is our our studio and this is our our console now what we see here this R console, this is hit here. And you can see exactly everything that you have here as, as per in terms of the original write-up is also what you have here. So you see, the R Studio has a space for the R console as well as other things where you could where you could other work spaces. So I could just also do uh I could just say two, I could type directly into two plus two and click it gives me four or whatever so but in working with r studio it's good you have a you go to r you, you have what we call an r script new file and then r scripts or you can pick it from here this plus button here and then you have r script so whatever you are doing here two plus two is being saved so you are saving it's it's not just that you are doing something that can easily so you could save this so two plus two and then you you say run run you see it brings out the result it gives you four so anything you do here any pro any programming econometric program or statistical program you write here if you click on run if you click on run it gives you the resultant uh, effect or the answer on right in your console. So all your codes can be saved here without you seeing the results coming out. And then when you run the code, for example, if I say two plus two, three plus four, and then I say five plus seven, and I want to see all these, let's assume this, these are my codes. So I control, uh, I control, I control all. I could run or I could from my keypad, I could hold control and press enter, and it gives me all the answers. So you see, two plus two is four, three plus three is seven, and it gives me all the code, the, the, the result of the code that I have written on the R script like this. So it's a very, very good way of having all your work in one place. Now, uh, this global environment uh, is used for loading data, and I'm going to talk about that in subsequent series. How do you load data? So, for example, this is R, this the R Studio now, and I want to I want to save it. So I want to save this studio. So you just Control S. So Control S. I come to uh, I, I I will go to a go to my desktop. I have a folder where all my work is econometrics. So I save it there. So let's say this is. Um, our lessons let's save it as our lessons so it's there so i've saved it now you could see the r script is saved as our lessons so i could always so even if i close for example if i close this now 
So I close this, uh, let me close this, and I go to I go to my econometrics. So I see the R script, the R lessons. I could just I could just click on it. And it you know it gives me the code, so it is beautiful. Now I will talk about in subsequent series, I'm going to talk about how to how to uh, um, import data from different um, from different formats like Excel, CSV, and even Stata format and stuff like that in subsequent series. But just to say that when you are working on Hire Studio, you must identify your work directory. You must set your work directory. Your work directory should be where you have typically where you have all your data, where you have where you saved your R files and stuff. So for me, my work directory will be so I say set work directory. I go to choose directory, and then in choose directory, remember my econometrics folder, and that's it. And here you have, here you go. So anything I'm doing now, every all, if I'm doing any stuff and I'm saving it's coming here it's coming to this to this work uh, to this uh, work directory so I wish I've been able to show you today how to inst download install and open our studio so the next time we're going to talk about how to import data and other issues around that so till then thank you for listening